Hi, I'm Ellen with Zoom Album, and this is Doug. Hello. Uh, happens to be my father, too. And, and Doug and I make up two of the Zoom Album team. Um, and we're going to show you what Zoom Album is right now. Um, so it's a really quick and easy way to share your digital photos in a little pocket-sized photo book. Like the one like, Doug has in his like pocket. Like this one. We'll show you how easy that is to make. So Doug's going to hold the camera while, while uh, we sort of walk you through it. It's really fun. It gets really addicting, too. I make tons of these. So you can see when you have the software on your computer, your desktop shows up on the left side here. So I just chose an April folder because I'm going to make a book for my mom for Mother's Day. And you can see I already had some pulled in. But you can just drag and drop the photos in here. Um, I love this part because I can actually shift them around um, down here and in other stages if I'm going to move them around. Um, so you can see the layout. You can add a frame. You can choose a, a different layout besides the square filling the page there. The software is Windows and Macintosh. Oh, yep. Good point. So you can see this button. I love this. I can zoom it in and out. I like to get really close to their faces. And in here, I can also have the option of shifting them around if I wanted to, moving them into different places. Um, then here you can add text. And so you can see all of the um, fonts that are already on your desktop kind of show up in here. So you can choose which one you like and make it a size and move it around on the picture. Um, when you go to print, you can do a, um, you can scroll through and look at, see how you like the way you set up the book. You can do a, a print preview, and you can see how the software automatically inverts in the way they're supposed to be. And when you go to print album, I love this part. It says, wait, make sure you've done the right settings, because not everybody play, uh, prints their own photos, so it's nice to remember that when you go to set the printer to make sure you set it for glossy photo and all that. Now, when you hit print, um, it, it, you send it to your printer. We have this special paper that's pre-perforated and pre-scored, and the back is adhesive. And so you can see, I'll just slide it into my printer. And then I already have one printed out here. Um, you can see the text on the pages, which is narrating, which is really cool. So um, once I print it, I just peel the end off, follow the instructions on the back, which are pretty simple. And it's, a, it's an accordion fold, sort of like a little bit of origami, which is fun. Um, I love this part. It says um, fold away from you and fold towards you. Easy instructions creases. on the back of each page. Really easy. And once you've done it once, I mean, my, my kids wait at the printer for the pages to come out because they love to help me fold them, which is really fun, too. Um, so then I peel the innards off like this, and the pages stick back to back. Now, one of the other cool features, I love that these stick up so you can see where you haven't folded yet, but um, it's also repositionable. So if you don't like the way you've placed it, you can you get another chance to stick it on there. And it, be, it stays repositionable for a few days after. It becomes sort of more concrete as the book is together for longer. So I'm going to peel all these tabs up. And you can see how quickly I just made the innards of my book. So um, there's two versions of cover. There is a solid color cover, which I could peel the outsides on and put this in. Um, we find that lots of different people like to decorate the outside, do a little hybrid scrapbooking, so it's kind of fun to have that option. Um, the other version we have um, actually has um, this paper in it with cardboard, so you can print your own cover. And the software really, it's very intuitive, walks you right through that too. So we'll make this cover of uh, Peter's Many Faces. That's my son Peter a few years ago. And um, this is also, uh, the corners are pre-cut, and they're very simple instructions on the back that help you line this out. You stick it on here. These snap out. I love the ability that you have on here to put text on the cover and on the binding if you want to. Um, so you can see that. It folds over like this. And look how easy that is to make a cover. And then what show you how you put it in the book. So in just a couple minutes, I've just made a complete gift that you can give to somebody. Um, you know, I give these to my kids. They carry them in their backpacks, different types of vacations. I have lots of friends that I make them for their weddings or sporting events. There's just so many uses for this, especially with Mother's Day or Father's Day coming up. It's really fun to be able to put together 12 pictures um, a 13 for the cover and make a book. Do you have one hanging around your neck, Ellen? Oh, I do. Okay, so this is really cute. A, scra a scrapbooking company that I really like um, decorated the cover as an example of what you could do with their papers. 
and this is one of um, my my nieces, my nephews and, and nieces, and my kids. So it's all of there are uh, eight grandchildren, seven grandchildren now, and then all their parents. So it's kind of fun to be able to decorate. Uh, my daughter and I do some beading sometimes, and we'll bead a little necklace and then put a zoom album on the end of it. So That's it's great. really cool. So there's lots of great options for what you can do with these. I mean, obviously you can see I have tons here. Um, we uh, these fit in the military uniform pockets for um, for use there and then like I was commenting on I love the text on the binding option and look how cute this one is this is from um, a canoe journey that a friend of mine took a bunch of pictures of and I made her some books and then we decorated the cover so you can see how the how you can do some nice scrapbooking too that's fabulous yeah so it's really fun thanks so much enjoy and please call us for and Look at our website for ideas and call us with your successes. Thanks, Thanks. so much. Bye-bye.